that'll be answered come November 3rd at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Greatest thing about it is that this na it was a natural occurrence of pregnancy. Like it happened and it was for real and it wasn't forced. So we had to adapt. Hark had to adapt. And uh, we decided, the two of us, that, okay, well, we're not going to get married. I don't think we're going to get married. Um, I think that the relationship will, you'll see a totally different side of the relationship. They have to decide where they're going to live together, how they're going to have this baby. Don't give up too much. Okay. <laughs> And also, there there is a very important aspect of it that, you know, Bones speaks very bluntly, and she'll say, like, I think in one of the scenes, I think I'm just going to stay home, and my breaths are sore. Do you mind if I just walk around and walk in And as a man, he, he just, like, into a kid, and like, yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. You have to be able to pick moments in the in the scenes that allow the two characters to think that there's possibly going to be some action going on. So you keep that sexual chemistry alive by dictating those moments. You don't let them flee because you have to be able to pick and choose those moments because it happens in everyday life. You know, married couples at home, guys, ready to go, circumstances. Ready and then when he's ready to itch, <laughs> he's ready to itch. <laughs> so to speak. I should stop now. <laughs> Although it's not hard. I'll get the fast answer. Is, um, we worked really hard to keep the ebb and flow of their relationship going in a way that would pique the audience without making the audience really mad. We failed very often not to make the audience really mad, um, but they stuck with us. The plan was, um, at the end of, uh, the plan was always to have, or I shouldn't say always, but as we went into season six, we knew that Booth and Brennan would get together in this, uh, sexually, in this season. We knew it would happen when the gravedigger killed one of our own. We didn't know who that one person would be. Um, I'm, um, I'm a little bit of a wimp, and I, what I needed was for one of our squints, the squint turns, to get a series, um, so that I didn't feel awful about killing them. Um, they're very good. They're very, I knew it wouldn't happen. And, um, and, and the best series uh, was gotten by Ryan Cartwright, who played Vincent Nigel Murray. He got a real series, like with 13 episodes on the air, the dead one. <laughs> um, I remember telling him that. And we knew that uh, Booth and Brennan would get together that night. This tragedy would make them get together. When Emily came and whispered to me that she was pregnant, um, uh, if Emily hadn't gotten pregnant, we would have found out in the final episode of, of the year that they had gotten together. And what do we do now? Uh, that would have been the ending of season six. Um, season six instead ended with a very, Emily told me she was pregnant, and so we ended it with her telling Booth that she was pregnant, that Brennan told Booth that uh, Brennan was pregnant, and that he was the father. Um, I really, uh, the moment Emily told me she was uh, pregnant, I remember coming and talking to you as soon as she would let me, and to her and everyone, um, and pitching it to the network that we would simply have Brennan also be pregnant in the next season. I, uh, what, I go on, I, what people call the, um, the moonlighting uh, curse, I always yeah. thought, as you asked, I always thought the moonlighting curse was when two people had sexual chemistry, like you and I do, <laughs> <laughs> um, when it's, when it's um, finally acted upon and gone, what replaces it? Um, Not acted upon. And <laughs> we still just have the tension. <laughs> um, Bridget, no. <laughs> um, and the answer will be, there's a baby. And I, and I truly believe that we will go nowhere near the, uh, the moonlighting curse because life will change so much. I think what the moonlighting curse is, is when life doesn't change. And all of a sudden, it, it's like... Something's gone and hasn't been replaced by something. Yeah, she wants to have her baby in Africa in a hut. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's the boo 
would, that would not, that's not good. That's beyond bad. That's, no, I can hear you. You can lean forward in an awkward manner. Thank okay. you, Hart. I have a question. <laughs> um, I'll speak for myself. As a fan, I've always been curious about Booth's relationship with women, given that we don't know anything about his relationship with his mother. All that we know is that she wrote Jingle. And that was from the and first I'd season. And I'd forgotten that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, you yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious if we'll learn anything about the dynamics. We don't even know if this mother's alive. Yes. So I'm very curious about yes. the mother. Yes. I don't. I don't know much about my mother as well. <laughs> I will find out. I hope soon. And Lord will tell me about that. I always thought it was a. <laughs> it was very interesting to have a character, a boo, who always went after women who he couldn't have for some reason. Why wouldn't the Parker's mother marry him? Why wouldn't Brennan uh, be with him? Um, and why the minute he um, full-heartedly uh, proposed to Hannah, did she go, no, I mean, he chose someone who would say no. Um, now, he's got someone who um, uh, <coughs> won't say yes, which is different from <coughs> saying no. Um, will we meet? I think um, we have a really, really strong uh, Booth's dad story, and that's all I'm. I'm oh yeah. About. It's a. It's. It, you are awesome in that. <laughs> <laughs> I texted you. Did I not text you the moment I saw the daily? Yes, I. Remember. You are a wonderful actor. <laughs> <laughs> You're all about your day. <laughs> I hope we find out about my mother. I, I think we will. I think we will. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Hart, can you talk about how you write an episode, like how you 